Hey everybody, welcome back to Serve Meats. We're here downtown Augusta in Soleil. Holly's going to be downstairs. Uh, she's going to make us a couple of drinks, so let's go check that out. All right, so right now we're inside the Soleil and I'm here with Holly. She's gonna make a couple of drinks for us. <laughs> but tell us a little bit more about Soleil. What is the vibe here? So here is family oriented during the day. We have sushi, we have grill products, we have lots of cool cocktails, a lot of cool Moscow mules. And during the night, um, Friday and Saturday after 10 p.m. it turns into a late night bar where we have beer pong, um, live music coming up the rest of the month and through August. And we also all have a lot of cool DJs. Nice. And, yeah. So um, where can you look at, is it on the website you can look that up, what's going on? Or, or? Yeah, um, we do have an Instagram, um, Sole Augusta, and then we do also have a Facebook page. So you can definitely check that out. All right, we'll link that down below also so you can check that out and easy click from one page to another. Um, so about how long have you been here? Um, I've been here a little bit over three years. Um, I think, yeah, definitely. I think maybe almost four now, definitely over three and a half. <laughs> okay. And then did you start here as a bartender or were you a server um, first? So how did you start? <laughs> um, I started as a host. Uh, one of my friends from college was like, hey, I really like working here. Let's work together. I was like, okay, sweet. I came to this open interview and they loved me. Uh, I started off as a host up there at the front um, for about two weeks and I got it down pretty quickly and then they moved me right to server. And then um, probably about two months after that, I got into bartending and now being behind the bar is like my preference and I love it. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's sometimes it's kind of hard from going from bartender once you are a bartender to do anything else. Yeah. Like it is similar still to serving, but everything is like a little bit different and it's, I would say kind of more convenient. Yeah. Than definitely. running back and forth. You yeah. almost Laps. have everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, before becoming a server and a bartender, have you ever served before? Um, I have served before. Um, one of my first serving jobs was at Buffalo Wild Wings, which is crazy. Um, I can remember working fight nights and people like flipping the tables and like just being crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, definitely um, a different, more relaxed and chill environment here. Yeah, and so. then did you bartend too over there? Um, no, I just did serving there. I didn't really um, have like a knack for the bartending thing quite yet. Um, it kind of scared me a little bit to be honest. <laughs> but then when I came here, I was like, okay, I think I could do this. Come back. She made a whole bunch of Moscow meals for us. On Aunt Beth's Instagram, she did a, a little um, who's got the best Moscow mule downtown, and so I actually won that. I don't know if I can link it, but definitely check that out. Yes, it is. And um, she was our bartender there also, so absolutely fantastic. But today she's gonna be making some drinks for us. And um, what do we have first? What are we doing? Um, so first off, I'm gonna do one of our cocktails on our summer cocktail list. Um, it's called the Soleil Lemonade. Okay. So really popular. Um, I make like over 50 of them every Wednesday. <laughs> it's really intense. Um, so I guess I'll start off doing that. Yeah. So first we're gonna start with Deep Eddie Peach. And I'm just gonna do one shot of that. Then we're gonna move on to one shot of pure lemon juice. We make it in house every day. That's how I get these awesome muscles. Then we're gonna do one shot of simple syrup to add a little sweetness to it, to the tart. And then um, we make our own hibiscus sugar um, and well, we buy the sugar and then we make it to simple syrup. It's really good. Um, it's pretty tart also and it has a, like a floral taste to it. We're gonna do almost a full shot of that. And then we're gonna shake it. Deep Eddy Mason jar. Here we go. A nice little Ooh, pink pink. color to it, and then we're gonna top it off with some lemonade. 
It is really, really good. It's a nice take on a refreshing lemonade. And then, um, again, tell us about the flavor profile for the drink. It's gonna taste like lemonade, but like nice, sweet, little hints of peach and a little bit of flower, floral taste from this hibiscus sugar. It's really refreshing and really easy to drink with. <laughs> awesome, let's try it. There you go. Oh, that's really good. It has like a nice sweetness to it. Um, you can definitely taste the floral, like you said. Um, never tried hibiscus, hibiscus before. So very nice, uh, very nice touch. And then the lemonade. It tastes amazing. All right, now we're gonna try a second drink and it is called? It's called a kiwi margarita. I love kiwis. Really? Yeah, I'm allergic to them, but I still eat them. of El Humidor Sober Tequila in the cup. We're gonna do one shot of lime juice. We're gonna add a little bit of triple set to give it some more sweetness. And then we're gonna add this kiwi puree that we have. <laughs> in the cup I already put a splash of pineapple a splash of sour and orange Ooh, look at that perfect pour ready to try it right, let's try that um, kiwi curiosity right here <laughs> See if my tongue goes numb too, but it'll probably be worth it anyways. <laughs> You're like, <"Huh." laughs> oh, that's good too. That's like a, a kiwi margarita starburst. Chase with yeah, like, it's, it's like a margarita kiwi starburst. Wow. So you can get these drinks straight off the menu here. Yes, they are on our craft cocktails menu for summer. Um, they should be around for at least a month or two longer. Okay. Um, but we should have the kiwi puree for a while, so even if it's not on there, you can still ask for it. You uh, I'll be honest, swinging's out of the park with the summer drinks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they're absolutely fantastic, so. If they have these drinks, like I'm going on vacation next month, they have these drinks, like I would order them like, that's the one. <laughs> Rum runner, no thank you. Give me the kiwi mango blast thing. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely this check this out. Um, let's go to our third one. Um, I made this one up myself. Okay. It's called a lavender Tom Collins. My best friend Dominique loves this drink. Every time she comes in here on Wednesdays for the BOGO sushi deal, she always gets this drink. <laughs> now, and this is a drink that you made up. Yes. And you can get it here. Is yes. it on the menu? Um, it's not on the menu, but we normally um, have lavender seeds here, and most of the people behind the bar do know how to make okay. it. Um, so you should be able to get it whenever you want. So let's try that one. All right, so we're gonna start off with one shot of Boodle's Gin, which is on our happy hour from four to seven, Monday through Friday, and it's $5. Then we're gonna get one shot of lemon juice that we make in house, like I said earlier. We're gonna do one shot of simple syrup. Then I have some lavender seeds. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit in there. Do a little bit more. You'll just feel when it's the right amount. <laughs> And we're going to double strain it so that way you don't get all those seeds in there unless you like them. And then we're gonna top it off with a little splash of soda and a little splash of Sprite. There you go. Garnish it with a lemon and it's good to go. Um, so right off the bat, you're definitely going to taste the lavender. It's not gonna be too overwhelming because quickly follows is the Boodle's gin taste. It's very subtle, the gin um, with the lavender combined. It definitely like calms down the dryness of the gin. 
and then after that you're gonna kind of taste like the lemon sweetness so it's a good combination and i'll let you try it so i got a question before i try this okay. what made you come up with this or put a little twist on it um well when i first started bartending uh, one of my good friends she always loved tom collins so like every day after her shift she would always get a tom collins so i slowly perfected like the original tom collins and then um, one day my friend Dominique came in here and she was like, I want something with lavender and I was like, all right. It was like, I already know how to do a good Tom Collins. So we'll just mix it up. And she was just loved it ever since. So I was like, okay. And I like drinking it myself. It's really like refreshing. It has a very good, it's a lemony lavender kind of flavor to it. It kind of makes me want to go to sleep as in the sense like the smell of it, right? But it has like a, it's very smooth flavor and it doesn't have, um, a lot of times when you drink dry gin, the, the juniper berries that are in it, it's very robust, but it has like a very mellow smoothness to it. Not one of those summer drinks, it's more, I would kind of drink it maybe at the end of the night or something like that, get a couple of those going and uh, you should have a fantastic night. It tastes fantastic by the way. <laughs> So we're getting treated right now to our fourth drink and it's uh i guess i would call it like a dessert drink coffee yeah, drink definitely a dessert drink um end of the night drink for sure um i call it dark moon so that's cool i made it myself so we're gonna start off with bourbon of their choice which is bullets um, sometimes I make this with Buffalo Trace because it's on our happy hour and it's five dollars on our happy hour. So one shot, put that down there. Then we're gonna put um, espresso extract or concentrate, just like almost a full shot, but not quite. Black like yeah. Smells really good. It's very um, strong, like espresso. It's really good. All right. Then we're gonna shake that. And then in a separate shaker, we're gonna put some whipped cream. And a little splash of lemon juice. Be good, maybe a little more. And then we're gonna dry shake that. I was never a barista, otherwise I would have made a cool design, but... <laughs> and then we're going to put a lemon twist on the top. Get all the little lemon notes in there. Bring the glass with it. There you go. So I would have never thought of putting coffee and lemon together. So yes. that's a unique twist. <laughs> Very, um, you're definitely gonna taste the citrus part first and then you're gonna feel like taste the espresso. So it'll be a little like shock for your taste buds, but when like at the very end they like blend together. It's definitely not a drink for everybody, I will say that, but um, I don't know. It's like one day I was craving coffee and like lemon at the same time. I was like, I'm gonna try it out. And it, one of my friends really loves this drink. She gets like every time at the end of the night. So, yes. So let's try it. It is really weird. Um, I didn't really actually, I didn't think I was gonna like it at first when I first tried, but then the smoothiness and the creaminess kind of go together. And it's almost like a cake that you're drinking. To make a cocktail that is, has different layers and different flavors that you can taste at different times, yeah. I think it's absolutely amazing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's fantastic. Holly's gonna be here. Every Wednesday, I normally open the bar and um, I also help manage late nights. So I'll be here pretty much all weekend too. So if you ever wanna come say hi or get my special drinks, definitely come in on any of those days. 
downtown Augusta, Georgia. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. I had a great time. <laughs> and I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, serve it neat. Click one of the buttons. Right there. Right there. There, there'll be a button to right here. Subscribe, like the video if you want more.